Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you have not been here before, and thank you so much for watching this video. Today, I am so excited because I got my first big box of VIB sale stuff from the Sephora sale. Oh, I am so excited. I was actually out of town when all of my stuff was supposed to arrive. Thankfully, I was able to kind of hold it at the post office and then they delivered everything today. Now that I'm back in town and I just opened the top of the box, I have not looked inside. I actually did place one other order. Um, it was like a few days after this, but I'm probably gonna share that in a different video. That was also a pretty large order, but I might just like combine it with another video. But nonetheless, this box is full of a ton of stuff that I got on sale and I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. Before we start, I feel like I have to introduce you guys to my dogs. It's so funny, I've had so many people comment and talk about them being in the background and someone was like, you have to introduce them. That's Griffin back there. He is so cute. He's probably the one that you guys see the most in my videos. He is an Australian Shepherd Redbone Coonhound. We rescued him about three years ago. And then over here is Penny. They're actually both pretty camera shy even though they're always in my videos. If I like try to bring them up here and they saw the camera, they would be like, no, nope, I'm not doing it. So yeah, that's Penny. We also rescued her and she is a lab golden and they are the loves of my life. I love them so much. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm actually gonna start out with this lipstick because I've been dying to try it out and I just put on a lip liner today because I wanted to open this and see what it looks like. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick and it is the shade Salt Life. The packaging is so beautiful. I absolutely love how this looks. And the color is a nice like mauve nude color. Let's see. It goes on super smooth. Oh wow, that's like a lot darker than I expected it to be. So here's the thing that's kind of annoying. My lips are naturally pretty dark. So I feel like any kind of lipstick that I ever put on always looks way darker on me or like super, super light on me, depending on what kind of shade it is. So if it is like a super, super light nude shade, usually they look like ridiculously pale on me. But if it's like anything like this and a little bit deeper, for some reason it looks like way darker on me than it looks on like the models that I've seen or people that I've also seen that use this lipstick, but I still think it's really pretty. It's just a little bit darker on me than I expected, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's super, super pretty. I will say too, it's like really, really comfortable on the lips, like not drying at all, but not like super, super wet either. So I am a fan of that. Oh, another lip product. <laughs> I might as well try this too. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. I am so excited to try this out. I have the other one, I don't remember what it's called. I got it last um, time the sale was around. I love the applicator. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Let's try it. One thing that I don't like is I feel like too much comes out. Ugh, so pretty. I love this stuff. I'm like already so obsessed. Fenty Beauty has the nicest glosses, I swear. They're so nice. You just have to be careful because if you put too much on, it will start like slipping down. <laughs> Not a cute look. I've actually realized that my lip gloss has been doing that like well after a photo shoot or well after I filmed a video and then I'm like, oh cool, that's cute. Also from Fenty Beauty, I got the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Lavender. I heard so many good things about this powder that it's really, really good at brightening like packaging gets a thousand points because it's gorgeous. I am so excited to try this out. Like this packaging just feels like so nice and like heavy and luxurious. I'm so impressed with Fenty Beauty, I swear. I know everybody in the world is, but I agree with them. I'm impressed too. <laughs> I went a little crazy with the brand Peace Out. I had actually never heard of this brand before, Peace Out, until my sister told me about the Peace Out Dark Spots. So in this little package, you get 12 microneedling dots with niacinamide and licorice extracts. Actually from NextGuard, I think I talked about them in one of my videos. I have these little acne patches that I put on at night when I am having like some problem areas and those work well and that's what these remind me of. If you're like me and you unfortunately have problems with acne and acne scarring, I think these could be really, really awesome for you. They did have really great reviews, so I'm super excited to try them. I actually have two spots so that just finally cleared up on my face and now I'm left with the nice little cute scar so I'm very excited to try these out and see how well they work 
can't wait crossing my fingers I also got the peace out pores they are four blackhead strips and four pore strips with vitamin A and DMAE. Oh, you're supposed to leave them on for four to six hours. Interesting. I think that these are really, really cool technology and a super cool idea, so I'm very excited to try them. I also got the Peace Out Puffy Eyes. It says six pairs of biocellulose under eye patches with ice plant stem cells and passion fruit extract. Sounds fancy and interesting. 15 minutes You're supposed to slap it on tired eyes i have very dark circles under my eyes naturally not a fun thing so i'm super excited to try these out and see how well they work and the last product i got from peace out is this peace out acne it is four acne healing dots with salicylic acid vitamin a and aloe vera so again this is like what i was talking about before with the next guard dots i think it's the same idea you slap it on a pimple it says leave it on for six hours and it's supposed to make it go away. We'll see how well they work. I would love to do a test and see how well these work against the Next Guard ones because those ones work really, really well. Is it Next Guard or is it Next Care? I might be saying that wrong. <laughs> but I'm super excited about these. I also picked up the Dr. Jart. Jart? Is that who you say? Sikapair Derma Green Solution. This is a tiger grass color correcting treatment. Neutralizes redness and protects skin. Improves skin appearance to be vibrant. Broad spectrum SPF 30. So I got, there goes the spatula. This product actually has really, really awesome reviews and I got it because I do wake up with some redness on my face every once in a while. I'm really hoping that this stuff will help correct that. And even just for days where I do feel like I'm a little bit red and I'm not trying to wear makeup out, but I do feel a little bit self-conscious about the redness, I feel like this could be really, really awesome to put on before like a tinted sunscreen. I'm pretty excited about it. I also picked up not one but two of my beloved Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I'm super excited to have a refill of this because I just ran out. You guys, this is, oh, I'm obsessed, first of all, with the way that this smells. It just smells like you're in a tropical island, it smells delicious, and it's literally my favorite, favorite, favorite body butter. I'm so happy I finally have a backup. Oh! I love how this smells so much, you guys. It smells amazing. And I swear, it is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used, if not the best. I love this for applying at night after I get out of the shower. My skin is very, very dry naturally. So this stuff just like gets it back into gear, I swear. I'm so in love with it, so I'm very excited. So I know I just talked about this in my Ulta haul, but I decided to pick up another of the Clarins Body Fit Anti-Cellulite Contouring Expert. If you wanna hear me talk more about it, go back to that video, or I think I talked about it in my favorites video. I love this stuff. It is awesome for cellulite, getting rid of it. I swear it works, it's insane. I absolutely love it. But I did just pick up another one, so I have like a brand new one. But I was like, maybe I'll run out before the next sale comes around. So I did decide to pick it up during Sephora sale as well. So, yay. So this is the Alpha H Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. I actually don't remember what this is. What did I get? Why don't I remember this? What is this? I honestly have no idea what this is. <laughs> Hold please, I need to look it up. Did I order this? I guess I did order it. I don't remember ordering this and I don't remember why I ordered it either. Anyways, it's the Alpha Age Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. It says revitalizes and insists in reforming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of silk, protein, and licorice. It sounds really good. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame myself for ordering it, but I have no idea where I heard about this or why I decided to put it in my cart, but whatever, I will try it out and let you guys know what I think about it. Sometimes I just black out during these sales and I just go crazy, so I don't know. This product I was so excited about. I'm so happy it's finally here. This is the Down and Out Dirty Spray from the brand IGK. It says, for enviable shine, PC separation, and the perfect amount of morning after grit, work this spray through hair for must-have it girl style. I am so pumped about this, and I hope it knocks my socks off. I've been looking for the perfect texture spray. I have so many that I already really, really love, 
but there's like something about them that is missing and I have a feeling this is gonna be it. I like a texture spray that makes my hair feel nice and voluminous, has that kind of like PC feel to it, but also like gives kind of like a gritty separation and that's what I'm hoping for this. Oh, crossing my fingers that it works. Please IGK, do not let me down. <laughs> I also picked up the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosted Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 40 in it. I've talked about this a million times. It is my go-to tinted moisturizer. I love using it during the spring and summer when I have a little bit of a tan. I like putting it on before I do my foundation and I feel like I can put way less foundation on. So I love this stuff. It makes my skin look really, really nice. It looks awesome on its own. That's how I wore it earlier today when I was running errands. I love this stuff. I feel like I always need a backup. So this is the Inky List. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Beta Hydroxy Acid. Face Exfoliant, also known as BHA. It is an exfoliant that helps penetrate deeper into skin's pores and unclog them. Sounds like something that I need, so yay. I'm excited to try this. Don't remember ordering it. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and order backups of my beloved Drunk Elephant. These are my two favorite products from the brand, for sure. I absolutely love them. I got the TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. I use this every single night, I swear. I noticed a difference the very next day. It is bomb. And I also have the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum. I swear this stuff works so well for dark spots. I've noticed such a difference in my skin since I started using this, even like with pimples, like the ones I was just telling you guys about that I have over here, that have finally cleared up. I swear my scars go away with this stuff. Whereas in the past, I wouldn't treat them and they would just stick around for years. I notice pimples that I have that scar, literally the scars go away within like 30 days with this stuff, which is insane. I love this stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. I ordered the Drunk Elephant A Passioni? I don't know. Retinol cream. It says reboot and smooth. 1% retinol, photoprotective, some word with a Z. I mean X. I can't read. I don't know what that says. Anyways, it is a retinol cream. I've heard good things and bad things about this. Retinol is awesome for knocking out wrinkles, scarring, all the stuff that we don't want. So I'm very excited to try this. Some people said that they had a bad reaction to it, so I would be careful if you do choose to use this. I probably will slowly introduce it into my skincare routine and I will make sure that I'm not using anything else that's like super harsh. So I probably won't use it in conjunction with my night serum. I'll probably use this only the nights that I go ahead and choose to use it, but I'm super excited to see if this works out. Oh my gosh, this is way smaller than I thought it would be. I ordered the Defense Refresh Setting Mist Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50 from the brand Supergoop, and this looks like it's in collaboration with Rebecca Taylor. It says, spritz over makeup to refresh your UV protection. I really, really was interested in trying this because I do love a, the idea of a setting spray that has SPF in it. So you can quick just like spray it over your makeup throughout the day and you don't have to worry about the sunscreen that you applied hours ago and oh no, now my face is burning. I think this is a really, really cool idea. I did not expect it to be this tiny. I don't know why, it did say one fluid ounce on it, but for some reason I thought that was gonna be way bigger. It's okay, we're gonna try it out. We'll see how it goes. I also picked up the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. It says it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. The Ordinary brand is very, very affordable, which is awesome. I've seen such amazing reviews on this brand, so I'm super excited to finally try something from them. I'm assuming this is kind of the same idea as the Drunk Elephant, what is it called? Sukari Baby Facial. I feel like it claims to do the same type of thing, but this is way, way, way more affordable. So I'm very excited to try it out. It's a definitely a very interesting color. I love new skincare. I feel like in the past I used to be so like, makeup, makeup, makeup only is what I would purchase during these sale things. And now it's like, skincare only and this time around I have like a ton of hair care products. I also picked up quite a few products from the brand Way, which is Jen Atkins 
hair care line. I'm super excited to try this stuff out because I've never tried out whey before. First off, I've got the rose hair and body oil. I have super, super dry ends from me bleaching my hair like a thousand times. So I'm very excited to see if this helps with the dry ends, just like smoothing everything out, making everything not look so dry and decrepit. Can think of another word. <laughs> I also picked up the Way Dry Texture Foam. I've also seen her use this stuff in her tutorials and it looks so interesting. I don't know. It also kind of makes me nervous using like a foam on brand new clean hair that I've just styled. So we will see how I feel about it. It says, like a pomade without the weight, this invisible texturizing foam adds all over hold thickness and grit for instant I'm from Paris undone texture. Don't you guys just love Jen Atkins? Like the way she speaks and her attitude, I think she's so cool. So that's like a very her thing to say. So I'm very excited to try this. I also picked up the Way Hair Care Memory Mist. Again, I've seen her use this stuff. It says, for use before you style, this multitasking priming spray adds heat protection, shine, and long-lasting memory to any look, curls and blowouts included. Using a one-of-a-kind formula, the lightweight spray memorizes your hair shape and texture until your next shampoo. Very interesting. So I'm super excited to try this out too. I actually really love the idea of a mist for heat protection. I feel like when I use like a liquidy product, I almost can like go a little bit overboard with it and then my hair starts looking greasy. So I think this is a really awesome idea. I'm excited to try this one too. And last, I got the Way Matte Pomade. I was really curious to use this because I love like a PC look to my ends and I've seen her use this in different tutorials she's done and it looks so like cool girl chic and like just really really awesome so i'm excited to try this out i've also heard that way stuff smells amazing it's true oh my gosh that smells so nice i'm excited my hair's gonna smell good look good i'm pumped i also picked up two of the playa endless summer spray create soft and tossed with texture southern california sea salt so this is just a sea salt spray i actually heard jc marie talk about this product in her instagram story i think or her youtube video i'm not sure if you're not following her already you need to she's amazing but she just raved about this. I love a sea salt spray. I've never actually found one that I'm like obsessed with. So I'm very curious to see if this one works out well for me. My hair can get super, super dry from sea salt sprays. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm definitely willing to try it out. It has awesome reviews online. So we'll see how it goes. I also picked up a few products from the brand Amika. First, we've got the Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo and the Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Conditioner. My hair is blonde on the ends and a little bit up here at my roots. And my hair, because it's naturally dark, tends to go very, very brassy pretty quickly if I don't treat it with some kind of purple conditioner or purple shampoo. This stuff had awesome reviews on it. I've tried so many purple conditioners and shampoos. There's some that I've loved, some that I've like absolutely hated. So I'm excited to try this one out. I love the packaging. It's like got a really cool feel to it. Not that that really matters, but I'm very excited to try this out. I'm actually planning on washing my hair tonight or tomorrow. Yes, I plan out when I wash my hair because I never do it. So I'm really excited to try these out and I will let you guys know what I think for sure. And then I also got the Amika Vandal Volume Powder Spray. I heard awesome things about this. I'm actually not sure where I first saw this. I think somebody was talking about it in their Instagram story and it looked awesome. I love a volume spray. This one is tiny like teeny tiny, but hopefully it works well. I will definitely let you guys know what I think. Two more products. So I've got the Kerastase Blonde Absolu Mask. It says ultraviolet, anti-brass blonde perfecting purple mask, latent highlighted cool blonde hair. Like I said before, I tried a million shampoos, conditioners. I'm very excited to try this mask and see if it works out well. I love the brand Kerastase. It's an amazing hair care brand. So I'm very curious to see how this works. The last thing I got is nothing new for me. I picked up the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. I love it so much. It saved my hair so many times. After I get it bleached, I do get a little bit of that like gummy feeling. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm happy for you. If you do, I'm sorry, it's the worst. But this 
honestly works so well for repairing the hair. I am always very, very careful about using it before I go and get my hair treated because I feel like it kind of helps going into it with a little bit more of a treatment. And then I use it a million times after I get my hair colored because it's awesome. It works so well at repairing your hair. This stuff is amazing. Okay guys, we made it through. I never thought we would. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys bought during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm very curious. Let me know if I'm missing out on anything because the fall one will be here before we know it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would really, really appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at AlexisTherese and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!